Here's a look unboxing and setting up the Grat Kit Firefly Filament Dryer. So, got myself the Gret Kit Firefly filament dryer box. I guess the electronics, I can see a strip running up through in here to control panel up here. Also, different, most of the ones I have have a control panel kind of on here. And does have good rubberized, you know, feet to keep it from sliding around. And on the back, we've got um, power and USB port. And I will take a look at what that is as well. So here's your power supply 24 volt 2 amp there we go um power supply is i believe ul listed i believe that's what i'm seeing there so i like seeing that on electronics uh, i didn't see any lab testing on the dryer box itself and uh, so here we go so smart dryer box so um i will get their app and take a look at that here um in a minute but um, so dimension wise so do that without counting Make it easier. Eight and a half inches or so. Right about. Yeah. Eight and a half inches. A little under three and three quarters. Mm -hmm. Three and three. Three and five eighths. Three and a half. Somewhere in that range. Well, yeah, three and five eighths inches or so. Mm. Height wise, about 10 inches plus the feet. So 10 and a quarter, something like that. Call that. All right. So here is a closer look inside. Uh, obviously, the bearings to help spin the uh, helmet spool if you go that route. Um, heater plate. All the electronics are back in here and what's really hard to see is right there is a 5015 fan I'm trying to see if i can sort of see part of it there um so it's gonna blow air uh, and so pull it right in this area here so if i can show that any better i think sort of see blades in there all right so as i suspected these are your two filament exit locations and no plug to kind of cover whichever is not in use and i will plug it in all right so got it plugged in obviously turned on so we have a temperature plus and minus we have a time plus and minus and a power slash mode button kind of thing and we see the different um settings up here so they have two uh custom settings you can do and i believe if i hold this your beep and now i can change and set which type of filament i want to be doing so let's 
go with pet G, and then if I don't do anything for three seconds, it should take that selection and start, I believe. So it's showing me my current temperature in here and current relative humidity. So I think after the, I think they say three seconds without doing anything, it's supposed to select that and start. I could be wrong. After selecting, oh, briefly press the, there we go. All right, so now we're starting. Um, and there's our time. So I can change that by minute or run it way down. And if you set it to zero, it should run indefinitely is what they say. So there we go. And um, temperature. Okay, so here's our desired temp. So it was at 60 and I can fiddle with that. And when I'm not fiddling with that, it will go back and show my current temperature in the box that obviously that's why it's warming. Uh, we got the fan moving and then double tapping in here should change the LED mode. And you can cycle through the individual colors and I have them listed there. And if you go far enough, uh, blue, white should be next, yellow, cyan, purple, yeah. orange, pink, blink. Uh, is it blinking? I don't know. Next, it's supposed to be smooth. Let's do color changing there. Yeah. Okay. Next is fade. And then to off. All right, so I opened up my Smart Life app here, and right away it alerted me that I can add the Brett Kit filament dryer. There's also some other device. Um, so I will start adding here and stop that other device, whatever it is, and then let it add the filament dryer. There we go. So, done. And there we go. So, it's set on 60 degrees C as I requested. And it's reflecting the RPM, matching what's on the display on screen there. And up there 38 so yeah so it's just, it's not rounding it's just truncating so 38 um and looks like i can oh i can control the leds here so i guess that's the rainbow swirly thing going on in there uh oh neat okay Okay, and probably power the whole device off here, or not sure. Um, and on filament, what does it tell us here? Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So that's the setting of what filament I'm using, which I already selected. Got it. Um, oh, and I guess this is just the on off right there. Okay. And you can see my humidity has 
drop down 29% since we started the exercise. So there we go. Um, we're back warming now. All right, so I found my issue here. All I have to do is just start So I was expecting something to sort of change there. So all I have to do is flick. There we go. 10 hours, 40 minutes. So able to control that. So the app does work for that. And from my home screen on here, I can just turn the heater on and off right there with a simple, simple tap there. 